Welcome back to the sixth episode of the Yu-Gi-Oh! project, a project where I'm trying to make the most playable deck for every character that has ever made an appearance in any media of the Yu-Gi-Oh! franchise, either anime, manga or book. The decks are to be constructed according to these six on-screen rules. In this episode, which is the first part of the two-episode special, we are taking a look at the GX character James Jim Crocodile Cook, who is named after a great explorer, James Cook, who discovered the Southern Land, which gave us many of the humanity's best things, such as the MUs, the MU War, the Barbie, and the Mighty Karmots. I won't bother you anymore with his character traits because they are very well explained by the TGS Animes channel and I will link that video in the description down below. In the anime, he plays a fossil deck, a deck that has been released quite recently in the collection pack 2020 or in Battles of Legends Armageddon, the first one in Asia and the second one everywhere else in the world. For those of you who don't know, the voting for the most popular character deck was held by Konami in Japan and I did partake in the voting and after that the deck actually won, so I had to build it in real life. The focus of the deck is unlocking opponent out of special summoning and beating them with extremely high attack monsters. The deck is really simple and enjoyable to play and not that expensive to build and certainly provides more than enough web entertainment for a nostalgia Yu-Gi-Oh player. Before we jump to the deck profile, I have read the deck request and next week I'll be dropping Raphael's Garden deck and after that I'll be dropping Phantom Knight's deck recipe because the second one is a tad bit more complex. Please don't forget to like and subscribe, I'll be building decks every week to your requests which you can submit me personally or in the comments below. Now for the deck profile. First off, we are playing 3 copies of Gaia played the Red Giant, as it was played by Jim in the anime. It is a nice monster, which is used as a fusion material or as a thick beat stick. For more competitive plays, swap them with Nibiru or Nibirus, because Nibirus solve the main problem to the deck, which are strong opponents turn 1 boards. Then 3 copies of Weathering Soldier, to search fossil fusion cards, 2 copies of Fossil, the most hated monster ever, to lock our opponents from special summoning monsters, 2 copies of Barrier Statue of the Drought, for similar effect to the preceding monster, but if you want to play extra pure, swap this for another for Seal Dina Apache something and one Shell Knight when it is released in the TCG. Then three Doki Dokis, which open so many plays and are essential to the deck, as they summon another monster and fill up the graveyard simultaneously. And finally, three copies of Nemesis Keystone to recycle monsters and to provide discard fodder for School King's effect. Then one for one to summon Keystone, three Specimen Inspection to fill up the graveyards, one Monster Gate to fill up our graveyard, three copies of Miracle Dig to set up the graveyard, Search with Weathering Soldier's effect and to potentially draw some extra cards, one copy of Reasoning for extra summon and to fill up our graveyard, three copies of Fossil Fusion to make our extra chunky boss monsters, one card destruction to fill up the graveyards and to get rid of dead hands, one foolish for graveyard setup, one monster reborn to reborn to seal Dina Cephalo or something else, two time streams to beef up our monsters, one DDR to summon back one of our banished monsters, which you will see will be plentiful, then three copies of Call of the Hunted because Jim played it in the anime and it summons back the fossil Dina Patsy Cephalo and three Solomons to stop our opponent's place. You can play one Flint Kragger instead of one Keystone, but that would really hinder the deck's playability, so I advise you not to play the Flint Kragger. For the extra deck, one to seal Dragon School Gears, which is in the deck to beat the hell out of our opponent, but it's not so simple to summon, so again, only one copy of it. Two copies of the best fossil monster, the Fossil King, as it has an amazing battle effect and even greater interruption effect. One School Knight to pop things, but you won't be able to afford it because Dogmatica, so run one School Wagon instead when is it released in the TC. One school guard for a kinda usable battle effect, but mostly to empty opponent's graveyard. Two school bones for search effect. And then one gallant granite, which to be honest is not the best in this deck, but sometimes helps. One nightmare toolbox. One Mrs. Radiant to beef up our monsters. One red black, which works amazingly in this deck, as you can draw two cards with this effect because our beefy fusions can attack two times. One anaconda to finish our set of boards with school king. One linku to protect our lock monsters and to dump Kisto into the graveyard and one Almirage to dump Doki Doki and for some extra protection. If you want to run the deck as pure as possible, swap Galant, swap Galant Granite, Black Black and one Fossil Warrior Skullbone for one Convoy, one Wagon and one Buggy. So let's see the deck in action. 